In this problem, we want to find an nth degree polynomial function with a real coefficient satisfying the given conditions. So they're telling us n is equal to 3, and we're given 5 and 3i. Um, now, when we say n is equal to 3, this tells us how many answers we're going to have, how many zeros we're going to have. It also refers to our degree. Now they tell us 5 and 3i, and it didn't say it, but those are zeros. Probably left off the instructions when I typed it up. Um, so we're going to set the x is equal to 5, and we'll set the x is equal to 3i. So um, these are our two answers. Now by default, whenever you have an i, you're going to have the conjugate. So if we have 3i, we're also going to have negative 3i. Now if you, if you recall, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. We factor this. We got x minus 2 times x minus 3 equal to 0. Set each factor equal to 0. So I got x minus 2 is equal to 0, and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then I get x equals 2, and x is equal to 3. This problem is going in reverse. So we're starting down here. We got the x values, and we'll work our way back up to get the polynomial. Well, if I went from this step to this step, it looks like I get uh, everything over one side, zero on the other. So I'm going to take this 5, move it over with the x, take 3i, move it over with the x, and take negative 3i, move it over with the x. So I'm going to have x minus 5 equals 0, x minus 3i is equal to 0, and x plus 3i is equal to 0. Now if I were to go from this step to this step, it looks like I put parentheses around and put them next to each other. Well, that's what we'll do. We've got x minus 5 times x minus 3i times x plus 3i. Now if I were to go from x minus 2 times x minus 3 up here, I'd just multiply everything together. And that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to multiply the, the, um, the last parts first, because these are conjugates. Conjugate means the first part's the same, and the last part's the same. So these both start with x, and they both end with 3i, but the sign in the middle is different. Now when you got conjugates, all you have to do is multiply your first parts together, x times x, it gives us x squared, and your last parts, negative 3i times 3i gives us negative 9i squared. Now remember, when you have an i squared, that's the same as negative 1. So this becomes x minus 5 times x squared plus 9. And when we multiply this together, x times x squared is x to the third, Negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared. 9 times x is 9x. And 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. So our answer is x to the third minus 5x squared plus 9x minus 45.